is beautiful. Beautiful? I should say it is. Why, Mary, this is positively the last word. Electric headlamps. Foot accelerator. Speedometer. Sliding gear transmission. Last word, eh? Well, we suppose that Chevrolet was the last word in 1913. Had a lot of modern features, too. Counterbalanced crankshaft, helical timing gears, and a lot of other things that other cars didn't have. But a lot of research was still going on under the hood, and lots of on-the-spot engineering. No luck, huh? Well, it isn't your battery. You haven't any. In fact, you won't have the ignition system that goes with a storage battery until 1914. The electric self-starter will be along in 1915. And about 1918, just five years from now, we'll have enclosed auto bodies. Any kind of weather will be driving weather then. Well, Mary, what do you think of our 1925 Chevrolet? Oh, John, it's beautiful. Beautiful? Why, Mary, this Chevrolet is absolutely the last word. Well, for 1925, it was. Of course, there's no knee action or independent suspension, no four-wheel brakes. But balloon tires, they'll be along any minute now. The boys have been working on those for a long while. No safety plate glass yet, either. Can't please them, son. Give them a nice, shiny black finish, and right away they want something to match their dress. Well, OK. This year, thanks to Duco finishes, she can have her choice of body colors. But take it from the boys, what you have now won't be a patch on what you'll be able to have in the years to come. Beauty, isn't she? Beauty, my John, it's simply the last word. The last word? Again? Now you've got her doing it. You mean there's, there's something better after this? What do you think? What, uh, tip-tomatic clutch? No draft ventilation or a, a high-point rear axle? Well, what next? Take the next right turn. Then you'll see. <laughs> Will you sign the guest register, please? Mr. and Mrs. Public. Well, now, no wonder you people haven't aged a bit since 1913. And that explains your habit of using that expression, the last word. We all do it, even though to the engineers of Chevrolet and General Motors, to the researchers and designers, there is no such thing as the last word. In Chevrolet, the nearest thing to the last word is more. Building quality transportation for the American public means constantly building into each yearly model more performance, more comfort, more safety, more economy, more durability, more beauty. In the experimental laboratories of Chevrolet, engineers take the latest model from the assembly lines, run it through grueling tests, then strip it down, study it, for ways to improve it. More than 15,000 parts in today's motor car, and each one is tested and probed so that tomorrow's motor car may have greater safety in the body, more comfortable seats, an even smoother ride, and greater performance with economy. In Chevrolet, Backed by the largest engineering, design, and research facilities in the world, a theory is a long way from a proven fact. Countless drawings are made, discussed, and discarded.
from the best, from the ideas that show the most promise of improvement, exact working models are made. And then working parts for testing. In a few days or weeks, the experimental engineers heap more abuse on car and truck parts than a driver could inflict in a lifetime. But passing the laboratory torture tests doesn't mean that a part is ready for production. Here are 1,268 acres of tests, the largest and finest proving and testing facilities in the world, the General Motors proving ground. Before it goes into production, every Chevrolet part of every Chevrolet car and truck, every improvement, every design change is tested. Prove and test. Test what the scientists, the researchers, the metallurgists, the engineers, the craftsmen have built and prove their results. They say that this spring is the best alloy, the best design, the best engineered for best performance on any kind of road under any driving condition. That's what the engineers say. But what do the roads say? What do the roughest, toughest roads in the world have to say to men whose lives are devoted to catching a wrong answer? How can Chevrolet's knee action be improved to stay ahead of all other designs, to give smoother, safer riding on hill and curve and rutty road? What about control at high speeds? How much muscle does it take to swing your new car around that sudden hairpin curve? How long does it take to accelerate to 50 miles an hour? How many miles to a gallon now? Here the torture tests go on, from 60 miles an hour to a dead stop. Not once, but many times in a single hour. How long can the brakes take the punishment? Proving ground results are checked against comparison tests made by other Chevrolet engineers and test drivers in actual cross-country runs thousands of miles on desert and plain, over city streets and mountain highways. And field tests. Special developments are actually put into use for test purposes under the roughest of field conditions with the cooperation of users of large Chevrolet fleets. Improvement in the modern motor car is a process of constant trial and test. No idea is too new, too startling for consideration, yet no idea can pass for final approval until it has undergone every test known to the ingenuity of engineering science. And, of course, it often takes many failures to lead to one success. Yet each failure and each success gives a hint of new paths to follow. Behind each new model Chevrolet for you, Mr. and Mrs. Public, are a thousand paths of trial and experiment that have led to the final product. With flowing curves for wider, roomier body lines, lower design for better weight distribution and greater safety, new fabrics for luxurious comfort and all the artistry and color combinations, the tones and tints of rich and distinctive pigments, your cars for tomorrow are brought closer and closer to their final form. The search for constant improvement in the car of tomorrow goes on. The greatest research organization in the world works far in the future to give your Chevrolet of tomorrow more of the things you want. Working with scientific tools and instruments unheard of a few years ago, the research scientists and engineers are free to explore the whole fields of physical, chemical, electrical, and mechanical sciences. They are curious about all things, metals, fabrics, fuels, wearing qualities, braking points, combustion efficiencies. In Chevrolet, the search never ends. The search for new designs, for new and better methods of construction, for new engineering features that will give you, Mr. and Mrs. Public, more big car values at lower operating costs. Well, John, what about the last word, motor cars now? Sure, this is the last word. There's a catch to it. Next year's car will be the last word beyond this. The car after that will be the last word, too. Even though it's right here, today, now. 
search for the last word will never end.